Hey fellow Google admins, this is Goldie again. Welcome back to Google Cloud Identity Codes. And in this video, I'll show you how you can set up Google Cloud Identity Free if you plan to use Google Cloud Platform or maybe any other Google Enterprise services. First, let me show you a couple of slides to answer some of the basic questions that you might have when you start doing this setup. And then I'll share my screen to show you the live demonstration where I'll take my demo domain and set it up with Google Cloud Identity. Let us start with Cloud Identity Setup, but before that, a few questions. Number one is a sign up flow. In case if you're already using Google Workspace, you can skip watching this video and rather watch my other video, which I'll link somewhere here, which shows you how you can simply add cloud identity to your existing workspace subscription. However, in case if you do not use Google Workspace or you're not planning to use it, you use Office 365 or something else, and on the other side, you plan to use Google Cloud Platform, Google Analytics, or any other Google Enterprise service, then this video is for you because in this, we will sign up for Google Cloud Identity from scratch. You might also have a question on whether it will impact your existing setup in some way. And the answer is no, it will not impact your system in any way. It is just an addition of a record in your DNS and that is it. Now, there are a couple of watch points when you register a cloud identity for your domain. The first one is banned domain. So Google does not allow you to use Google or you know any of the Google uh, trademark domains. Uh, so make sure that uh, Google name is not part of your domain. And second, Google does not support China top level domain. So your domain can't have .c in extension. Okay. Now, there are multiple options available for your domain verification. As you see on the screen here, you can go with Google Analytics. Or you can you know, upload a HTML file. However, uh, I personally find the DNS record addition very easy, and that's why I'm just recommending it. You should go with either the TXT record, or you can just create a CNAME record in your domain DNS. Now, where should you make the changes in case if you're a large organization? You already figured it out, but in case if you're a small business, I've seen some sometimes customers are making the changes uh, at a place where they don't have their name servers. So make sure that you check where your name servers are residing, uh, whether it's with your domain registrar or with your web host, wherever your name servers point, you should be making these DNS changes at that place. Okay, uh, now one more thing before we go to the setup. TXT record or CNAME record, when you, you would be creating it, your host name should be like this. So in case if you know, you're know you setting up uh, cloud identity with your primary domain, which is domain.com, then your host name for the TXT should be either at sign or the domain name, depending on how your DNS provider takes it. However, if you are signing up for uh, cloud identity on a subdomain like, you know, dev.yourdomain.com, then your host name for that TXT should be either dev or the dev.domain.com based on again how your DNS takes it. I personally recommend not to go with subdomain unless you have a very strategic reason in place. And I've created one more video, uh, you know, comparing both of these options. In this uh, demo, I'll show you how you would be setting up with your primary domain, which is domain.com. So with that, let me share my screen and uh, show you how to set up Google Cloud Identity with your own domain. Okay, so let's start with Cloud Identity Free Setup. I'm on the setup page. I'll click on Next, and then I will provide my uh, business details. I will need to provide my business information. I'll go ahead and put that information and click next. I will need to provide the current email address on which I can receive emails so that in case in future if I forget my password I should be able to use this email address to go through the recovery process. So here we need to provide our domain name. We take domains as a standalone entity even if I put subdomain here, for example, dev.mydomain.com, that will be considered as a primary standalone entity. Where I have this domain, which is goldiaurora 
dot xyz i'll go ahead and use this one and click next now it shows me a quick warning that this domain's mx records which are responsible to receive email are not yet configured which is okay so i'll go ahead and click next because i'm not using google's uh, email or workspace i will only be using cloud identity for google cloud platform subscription now i will be creating the first admin account so i will give it a name maybe call the admin and here i need to create the first email address and that first user will become super admin for this domain so i will choose the email and password click on next now there is an option to educate my users but for now i'll pass because i will be using google cloud platform only i will prove that i'm not a robot i'll go ahead and click on agree and create account it may take uh, a few seconds to do the processing behind the scenes and it says my cloud identity account has been set up so i'll go ahead and click on go to setup now i will put the user id and password and because this is the first time i'm logging into my admin account it is asking me to accept the terms of service so i'll go ahead and accept those okay so now it says welcome to the admin console and now the first step that i need to do after registration of our domain with cloud identity is to prove google that i own this domain so i'll go ahead and click on verify and there are a few options to uh, verify this domain name i can either sign into GoDaddy to verify it automatically or i can click on switch verification method and choose the method that i want to move ahead with so i'll go with create a txt record click on next continue and google gives me this string and recommends me to create a txt record with the value of this string so i'll go back to my godaddy where i have this domain i'll click on dns to make dns changes it will not impact my existing setup in any way i'm just adding a txt record for that i'll click on add record type should be txt host name should be just add and this is my string that I copied from Google. I will go ahead and click on save. It has been added. I will come back here and say verify my domain. Now it may take some time to reflect those DNS changes. Okay, so after waiting for two to three minutes, my domain is now verified because Google was able to check that I have created that TXT record in my DNS for this domain. Okay, so with that, within a very few minutes, we were able to sign up for Google's cloud identity with our own domain. We verified our domain ownership to Google, and now we are all set to start taking next steps, which would be to create users and groups and members, etc., and assign them required applications like Google Cloud Platform. With that, thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, please do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.